In this video we'll briefly discuss how carvedilol works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, contraindications and precautions. Carvedilol is a non-selective beta blocker with concurrent alpha-1 blocking actions. It reversibly binds to beta-adrenergic receptors on cardiac myocytes. Inhibition of these receptors prevents a response to the sympathetic nervous system, leading to decreased heart rate and contractility. Carvedilol blockade of alpha-1 receptors causes vasodilation of blood vessels. This inhibition leads to decreased peripheral vascular resistance, and an antihypertensive effect. And of course there is no reflex tachycardia response, due to carvedilol blockade of beta-1 receptors on the heart. It is available as 3.125, 6.25, 12.5 and 25 mg tablets. And also available as 10 mg, 20, 40 and 80 mg extended release capsules. Carvedilol is used in the treatment of hypertension and heart failure. It is also used after a heart attack to improve the chance of survival if your heart is not pumping well. And lowering high blood pressure helps prevent strokes, heart attacks and kidney problems. The usual initial dose of Carvedilol for hypertension is 6.25 mg twice daily. Then after 7 to 14 days, increased as tolerated, first to 12.5 mg twice daily and then to 25 mg twice daily. And the maximum dose is 50 mg per day. And for congestive heart failure, the usual initial dose is 3.125 mg every 12 hours for 2 weeks, then increased every 2 weeks as tolerated, to 6.25 mg, 12.5 mg or 25 mg twice daily. And the maximum recommended dosage for mild to moderate heart failure, for patients less than 85 kg, is 25 mg every 12 hours. And for patients over 85 kg, is 50 mg twice daily. And the maximum recommended dosage for severe heart failure, is 25 mg twice daily. It is contraindicated in case of acutely decompensated heart failure, requiring parenteral and neotropic therapy. Bronchial asthma or related bronchospastic conditions, second or third degree AV block, sick sinus syndrome, unless a permanent pacemaker is in place, cardiogenic shock, severe bradycardia, and diabetes. Adverse effects of carvedilol include, dizziness, headache, fatigue, hypotension, slow heart rate, atrioventricular block, angina, weight gain, hyperglycemia, hypercholesterolemia, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, indigestion, edema, cough and runny nose. Medication is started at a low dose and gradually increased as needed and tolerated. So don't interrupt therapy or discontinue drug abruptly. Take each dose with food and avoid sudden position changes to reduce risk of orthostatic hypotension. This drug may cause dizziness or fainting, so avoid situations such as driving or performing other hazardous tasks, until tolerance is determined. If you're a hypertensive patient, always take care of weight control, regular exercise, smoking cessation, and moderate intake of alcohol and salt. Notify healthcare provider if you become pregnant, plan on becoming pregnant, or breastfeeding. If you're a diabetic patient, Monitor your blood glucose more frequently, when dose of carvedilol is changed or stopped. Do not take any prescription or over-the-counter medications, or dietary supplements, unless advised by health care provider. That's all for this video. Subscribe and click on the bell icon for more animated medical videos like this one.